Well, happy Thursday, everybody, and welcome to another weekly update here at Grace Life. We're looking forward to our Sunday services once again, and we encourage you, if you've not already, please go ahead and sign up as early as possible through one of our website links or through the Facebook page or our church app. We really need to know that you're coming as far in advance as we possibly can, so we'll be better prepared for you at either our 9.30 or our 11 o'clock worship hours. If you've been coming at 11, you may have noticed that uh, the room is starting to get a little bit crowded. We're not quite at capacity yet, uh, but we should be there very soon. So I just want to encourage you, if you're able to attend the 9.30 worship hour, that'd be great. We do have uh, life groups available at 8.15 for you early birds. Uh, and we would encourage you to take advantage of that opportunity. And we hope very soon to have life group opportunities available at the 11 o'clock hour. That will really help us bring some balance uh, to both of those worship services at either uh, 9.30 or 11. Also coming up this week, you'll have an opportunity to pick up a shoebox for Operation Christmas Child. As you know, we've been involved in this ministry for a number of years now. And this is a great opportunity in the midst of the uh, COVID pandemic uh, to be able to faithfully share the gospel with boys and girls all around the world through Operation Christmas Child. It's a great opportunity for you and your family uh, to be involved in a mission opportunity together. And so we would encourage you to make plans on picking up a shoebox or two this coming Sunday and getting that back to us just as soon as possible. Hey, I had a great article someone sent to me uh, early this morning about a 12-year-old boy in Chesapeake who mowed some 50 yards of some needy families in his area for free. He got the idea from a faith-based ministry out of Crossville, Tennessee called Raising Men Yard Care. And they issued what they call a 50-yard challenge. And they challenged uh, young fellows and young people who are involved in mowing yards this summer uh, to pick out 50 people uh, who may be veterans or, or, or senior adults or somebody in need and mow their yards for free. And once they met the challenge, they would give them a free lawnmower. Well, this boy, whose name was Phoenix Brown, took that challenge, mowed the yards, got the free lawnmower, but along the way, a number of people gave him tips for mowing their yard for free, over $100. He decided to use the tips to buy pizza and bottled water and set up in several places in the Norfolk area uh, and feed the homeless people for free. And all of a sudden, a lot of people have seen what Phoenix and his family did to try to serve others, and they've been inspired uh, to do something for others and be kind and be generous. You know, that's the kind of news story we need in these days, isn't it? It reminds me of that great passage in Philippians chapter 2 where Paul said, don't do anything out of selfish ambition. Each of you should look not to your own interest, but also to the interest of others. And in humility, consider others better than yourselves. Your attitude should be the same as Christ Jesus. You know, that might be a good project for me and you uh, to end the week with this week. Don't just look out to your own interest, but look for a way to serve somebody else and have the attitude that Christ Jesus had. You know, I'm thankful for Phoenix Brown. What an inspiration this young man is to me today, and I hope to you uh, and maybe to others to inspire us not to just take care of ourselves, but look for an opportunity to take care of somebody else. Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you this Sunday. We'll be back in the Sermon on the Mount, beginning Matthew chapter 6, talking about hypocrisy. I hope you'll join us either at 9.30 or 11 here in person, or that you'll tune in at one of our live stream opportunities via Facebook, YouTube, our website, or the church app. It's going to be a great day of worship, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again on Sunday.